Hi Dave, Mike Bidwell at Mankato Motors. I thought maybe a video preview of the cars we talked about would be more helpful than just a few pictures. So this one is the 2005 Altima that we were talking about, 119,000 miles. Um, as you can see, the body is actually straight and not rusty. There's a couple little scuffs and scratches, but looking along the bottom edges of the doors, nice and solid. Uh, potentially a little bit of rust starting to bubble through right there. Bumpers aren't cracked. Little scuff on that one. Uh, here you got a little more rust. And this is the worst of it on the car. Again, you go across the bottom. Overall good condition. Looking to the interior. It's a nice looking car. Roomy, fairly plush, so comfortable when he's making the longer journey to come see you from school, and also in nice condition. Here's one we hadn't talked about, 2004 Nissan Maxima, 157,000 miles. Again, just a, another nice condition car. Nissans tend to hold up well. Tires are good. paint on the rear bumper. Somebody had a scratch on there that they touched up. Again, that little bit of rust on this wheel well. Real overall nice condition. This will use a uh, 3.5 V6. A little more luxurious interior with the leather, the sunroof, the heated seats, the uh, Bose stereo. And again, it's a roomy car. So that would be another good possibility. And that's that's at 6,000. Camry, of course, we all know the reputation that the Camry's got for longevity. Uh, 2,317,000 miles. Those would be a roomy vehicle as well. This is one of the main competitors for the Altima. And again, other than a few scuffs and scrapes, driver's side is in decent condition paint scrapes. Car overall is in good shape for that same kind of price range that we were talking about. Uh, interior, again roomy, comfortable, Not a car that I would be afraid of at all, and $59.89, so back into that same price range. This would be the Concord with 110,000 miles on it. Um, so maybe it's had a little bit of front end work that doesn't line up quite the way that it normally would. Tires again are in good shape. Body again solid. This is Chrysler's 3.5 liter V6. It's a little different from the um, from the Nissan 3.5 V6, but both of those have been good motors. And again, a very big car. Leather heated seats, probably even has infinity speakers. But as a big car is going to go, that's going to be a really nice choice for a lot of room for him. You'd probably have a lot of fun in this 2010 Corvette if you really wanted to step up. And the 2000 model Dakota. Um, this one you've got a little bit of rust on the bumper. The tires are reasonably good. They're not as good as they are on some of the other ones, but the tires are good. And a little bit of interesting paintwork there. Maybe before winter you'd want to put at least a couple of tires on it. It's a fairly basic truck. Manual windows, manual locks. So nothing fancy. Certainly haul his furniture back and forth though. And of course, a pickup truck is going to be roomy as well. So that's kind of a look at the cars that we've got in that price range at the moment. Of course, it changes frequently. I'll keep you posted on more as we, as we get them available. But uh, give me a shot. Let me know what you think of those. Thanks.